We can stop HIV, Iowa. Everyone has a role to play in stopping HIV. Unfortunately, there are barriers that make our job a little more difficult. Stigma is one of our biggest challenges. According to a survey, 27% of respondents who were living with HIV said they waited to get tested because of the stigma. So we should talk about HIV more and support people living with HIV. Find out more at StopHIVIowa.org. This is Converse with us with Chris Donovan and Evelyn Rivas. Hey, we're back. We are back. And at the same place. Look at us together again. Oh my gosh, it's like we're married. Oh my, I miss you. I missed you too. You're going to start like that right away? I go. so miss you. <laughs> hi, buddy. How are you? Aiden's around here too. Say Aiden hi, Aiden. just walked in the building. Say what hi up? to Converse. Hi, you Converse. Converse. I, didn't Com- you, I didn't know you guys still did this. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, listen to that excitement. <laughs> he must listen to every episode, waiting weekly. He's like, yeah, this. you guys haven't done this in weeks, so I just assumed... Uh, I'm also not here. You guys stopped <laughs> doing this. Also, when we record it, you're not here, you're at school. Stop it. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Um, yeah, this is Conversation with us, and we're in the same place. I'm in uh, California right now. I leave really, really early in the morning to go back up to Washington State to uh, do the Invigor Medical Podcast. Which just launched last week. Yes, but that, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Let's do our food first. What did you make? You made some Greek stuff? Okay, so let's... Uh, My big fat Greek salad. Are, are, do we start with food again? I thought we changed up the the, the we, way we did the show. See, look at We haven't done the show in so long. I forgot how we do the well, let's show. Let's do the food first because what we talk after is going to be very long. Okay, that's true. So long. Just kidding. It's going to be uh, 10 minutes of Evelyn crying. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, so I made something. So you've obviously been away. Mm-hmm. So I've been experimenting with things that I know. Yeah, <laughs> oh, basically. And I've been experimenting with things I knew you would not eat. <laughs> it's a good time to do it. So I made this Greek-inspired garbanzo bean salad. Greek-inspired garbanzo bean salad. Yes. Okay, well. okay so imagine that, and then I'm going to show you a picture. That's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. Yeah. Is there some of that left in the fridge right now? There is. Yeah, but it doesn't look like that anymore. Well, it's been a couple days. <laughs> so. it's, 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 I it's, ate it for two straight days I in know. a row, and then I, like, I'll like i make it again for something else. But, but it yeah. was really good, huh? So good. So here's what's fun about what's um, this is not a plug for Instacart because screw Instacart. They charge me a lot of money. But anyway. Yeah. Um, but there is, there are perks to Instacart cause I am a lazy mofo and sometimes I do not want to go. I just don't have enough time maybe to go to the store. So I will sometimes drop a little Instacart action and have them bring me stuff. Right. Well, on their app also, they have some, in, uh, recipes. Yes. And so I've been looking through their recipes because if I want to make something quick and I don't want to go to the store, I'll click on the recipe. And if it looks good to me, it'll automatically add all the items to the, to my list to the cart. That's why that that grocery order was really really expensive that day. Uh, maybe <laughs> I did take some things off because I was like, oh, I already have Laurie's, or I already have you know, I don't need that, or I didn't, I didn't need tomatoes this time because I had tomatoes already. Uh, garbanzo beans not in my fr- not in my cabinet, so I needed you those. Barely say it. Garbanzo beans. <laughs> so anyway, uh, ordered that all the ingredients, made it once, and decided. See as. It is vegetarian and all that. It definitely needs protein. So I added shrimp to it. That's what I was going to ask. What was the protein? Yep. Mm-hmm. So I added some shrimp to it. And mm, I made shrimp. a Greek-inspired garbanzo bean shrimp salad. <laughs> Greek-inspired garbanzo bean shrimp salad. <laughs> because I added the shrimp to it. No, but it sounds yummy. It was so good. It had olives, huh? It did have olives. Okay, and see, that's out. another thing I knew you wouldn't have. Mm-hmm. And I didn't put in the onions because I don't like onions. Yeah. So I was like, eh, it doesn't need onions. Doesn't need onions. Nah, it doesn't it need onions. It was just garbanzo beans, shrimp, and salad dressing. No, <laughs> just it wasn't, I swear. <laughs> so it's garbanzo beans. It's got olives. Cucumbers. Cu- lots of cucumbers. Love cucumbers. Tons of it. Um, Candy red grape tomatoes, those little tiny ones. Okay. Those are really good. Yep. Um, I like... Cloves of garlic, feta cheese, which I think is the key because it makes, oh, it's so good. Makes everything feta. It makes everything feta, baby. Uh, lemon juice, Lari's uh, garlic salt, yep, pepper, and this is the thing that makes it like kind of more of a salad is a half a cup of Italian dressing. 
mm. and I just used like just the Stater Brothers in. band. You just yeah, and then I ended up making a bigger batch, so I did more obviously. Double dip. Yeah, but so good. Of course, our girls love it. Of course, our girls love Aiden. Totally those things. Uh, he loved the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, I don't know about all that weirdness looking on in there, but you know, garbanzo beans are just so good. They really are. They're simple. They're, they're I mean, they're, they're whatever flavor you put on it, really, yeah, basically. That's it. Just like shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Ah. So it was really, really good. And that is like my new, I think, go to every other week. I'm going to make that. Her go to Greek uh, inspired garbanzo <laughs> bean shrimp. My salad. big fat inspired <laughs> Greek salad. <laughs> well, I've been trying all the stuff that I haven't had in a long time up in Washington. 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 What an uh, idiot. No, they're just not a long time, but like taco time is up there. Oh, um, yeah, there's no taco times down here. Closest one's Vegas, and I don't even think they do it right. So I oh. go to Taco Time up there. I've been there a couple times. Um, just You've it's been to Taco quick. Time how many times? A couple times. Um, but then I Zips. heard you Ubered Taco Time once. No, I Ubered something else. Oh, okay. Habit Burger. Have, oh, okay. Which we have down here. I just never ate at one, so I got there was a deal. Okay. I think they might have just opened up there or something. But I noticed they Habit Burger has a lot of deals on Uber stuff. Yeah. yeah so and then okay. uh, uh, Zips. Zips is a, a restaurant that's up there only. Um, it's basically a burger joint known for their chicken strips, and they I believe they have fish sticks. Oh. But it's like, and then they have a nice fry sauce. So the burgers are pretty good, chicken sandwiches and stuff. So it's fry like fry sauce. That's a that's, that's a, a big thing. Big thing in Washington. Yes, it is. Fry sauce is fry huge. Sauce. Yeah. Um. There's uh. You have to pay for it in some places. A dollar for fry sauce. So what is fry sauce consisted of again? I like think it's just Thousand Island dressing or it's ranch and ketchup put together. It's like two things or together. Or mayonnaise and ketchup it's and a little bit of thousand. Basically, everyone can make fry sauce. Yeah, it's not difficult. It's just mix. <laughs> it's it's You know how you used to just put ketchup and ranch and mix it together? Yeah. That's pretty much what it is. I'm sure they throw a little more seasoning on it. Yeah. It now tastes, they just don't sell you, give you the ranch or ketchup for yeah. free. You got to pay for the fry sauce. It's so funny because <laughs> no one eats fries with ketchup there. It's like, no, well, I have fry sauce. Yeah. Which nobody knows what's in it. No, <laughs> it's the secret. It's it's the old recipe for uh, Coca Cola. It probably is. <laughs> it's like so crack that's dip. Ad- addicting. <laughs> so yeah, I've been trying a few places like that, but nothing special. Um, I mean, you your know, mom's been feeding mom's you a been, whole bunch. Yes, I've had lots of home cooked meals, and uh, nice. My sister apparently does not know how to order pizza for the one event, so we ordered eleven pizzas for the football games one day. And, uh, we and only there were ate, only like, three people at the house? Yep. So there was like seven <laughs> pizzas left for the next. Literally, I think they cooked the last pizza yesterday. <laughs> so she she bought those pizzas that take you- Take and bakes. Take and bakes. Okay, got it. Papa Murphy's. Yeah, I eat Papa Murphy's. They're pretty good, actually. I don't think actually. we have Papa Murphy's down here. Mm, if we do, it's few and far between. I don't- uh, Yeah, I'm not They're pretty 100%. good, though. They're, they're fresh. They, they last for a while. That's cool. I mean, we had a lot of them. Do you put them in the freezer? No, we put them in the fridge. And then we would, I mean, you're sure you could freeze them if you wanted she to. She had enough fridge space to put 11 Papa Murphy's freezer or or pizzas in yeah. her fridge? Like enough? Yeah, she did. That's crazy. Yeah, it was her outside fridge. That apparently, uh, when like people aren't fridges. coming on vacation, they don't have as much beer in it. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's only, I, I thought it was the beer fridge. It is, but when we're not coming, not planning on a bunch of people for vacation, apparently <laughs> there's no no beer in there. <laughs> Plus, I grab beer out of there now. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So how's it going I, up there? It's going. Should we get into it right now? Oh, she's coughing. Oh, <coughs> she's dying. Oh, no, she's dying. No. Aiden. You all right? You got some water? You want, to, yeah, you want a drink of my beer? Something. Here, she's going to have a drink of my beer. So this has been happening to me since you've gone. She's do you, dying. Do you hear how my voice does that? Yes. Don't, oh, don't spill on this. I'm not gonna spill. Yeah, I've got I got an issue with my uh my vocal cord right now. Yeah, that's not good. That's your that's business. Probably not good. So anyway, that, we'll oh, yeah. save that for after I have a doctor's appointment. Let me figure out what the hell that's going on with me. All right, okay. Should we get into right now, right we now? We should. Let's do that. Right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now, I'm in California, but tomorrow, tomorrow, <laughs> I'll be back in Washington because of the Invigor Medical Podcast that i am been hired for. Uh, I'm the host, uh, producer, along with a couple other people, and then Derek Berkey is also the co-host with me. Yeah. He's worked there for a while. He knows more about medicine than I do. Yeah, he knows a lot more of the statistics stuff. Yeah, I and noticed. like the back of house, what's in the mm-hmm. trimix and stuff like that, all those different so, things. So, so if you haven't listened to our podcast in a while, no worries. We just we started it We haven't recorded one in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's, in, it's been since before the holidays, I think. Yeah. Um, before, when you were in town, we didn't even, did we do one when you were gone? Nope. No, we haven't done one uh-uh. at all. So. So, 
Um, if you don't know, Chris is, is currently working out of state. We are separated for a little while. And the only reason it happens is because it's Washington and that's where my whole entire family is and I yeah. can just stay there for free. Yeah. So if you haven't heard, if you're not caught up with our episodes and you're just starting fresh today, that's what's happening with us. And I am living here with the kids and mm-hmm. he is living there with his family. His, thankfully, his family all lives there. His mom, his dad and sister, brother, everybody. Mm-hmm. So he is able to stay with them rent free in mm-hmm. a sense. I mean, cool. he's pitching in on stuff, yeah. but but Eleven that's, pizzas a week. Uh, <laughs> but it wouldn't be something that you would do if, if you, that wasn't the situation because yeah. it would cost us way too much for you to try to take this job. But the job is worth it. The job is a great gig. Yeah. I'm the you look good on camera, baby. Thank you. I got to lose about 20 pounds, which is a really cool which thing. Which is what we're getting into. <laughs> yeah, because uh, they are a telemedicine company that helps with weight management and stuff. And they have given you and I uh, the semi-glutide. Which Wagovi, is, right? Which is the street name Wagovi. Yeah. Street name? <laughs> the street name Wagovi. But yeah, they, you have to inject yourself uh, once a week with a certain uh, medicine and uh, with a syringe and everything, which is fun. Yeah. Uh, very actually simple. I it's was really a simple. little, yeah. uh, a little, you know, like I wouldn't, I'm afraid of needles. Let's just say it. Yeah. But it went after I got everything and I, and I did it for the first time. I'm like, that was nothing. It, you I'm don't like, even feel the needle. I'm such a baby. You don't even feel I the know. needle. Yeah. You can barely see it. <laughs> yeah. It's so tiny. Um, well, yeah, no, I mean, I guess that could be part of my right now, right now then too. Yeah. We, we are starting the year, um, mm-hmm. hopefully with this new plan. And I'm so grateful to your company for allowing us the opportunity to try this, like yeah. to try this new weight loss situation for us. And we've been in this position too over the last year of trying to find the next, not thing, the next thing, but something that would work get for us, us to, better. yeah, work yeah. for us better and get us going again because there was a rut and there's lots of reasons oh, yeah. for that rut for a yeah. while, but uh, it like fell into place with this gig and, and now, you know, like up there they have a gym mm-hmm. also. So I got free gym membership, which is awesome. Yeah. A private gym. That's so awesome. Um, that is great. And then, you know, they're doing this with us and the podcast this week is with my dad's urologist, which is hilarious. Comes out Thursday. That's um, so funny that it's your dad's urologist. It's such a small town. Um, but it's going to be with doctors and stuff. The, the whole, uh, podcast is, but the company, uh, does the telemedicine telehealth stuff. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Yeah. It's, it's very fascinating. So as like, he's taking this gig, I've been, researching all the things that they offer there and there is a lot of stuff from like men's health women's health i mean everything that you can think vitamin of. packs if you just don't know what to do you mm-hmm. could just go in there and get a vitamin pack and then pick and choose which vitamins you want and they're they have the consultation people that help you talk through everything yeah to figure it out it's really simple no it's really cool i am i'm only one week in on it uh on my I, yeah semi-glutide which i started last thursday mm-hmm. and i definitely feel uh, i had the energy I got the energy right away. Right. Yeah, from the B12 for sure. Yeah. And uh, I'm already feeling like I'm eating and everything. You know, I'm still like making sure I'm eating. I'm drinking a ton of water, but obviously my throat, I'm having an issue with my throat. So mm-hmm. I'm drinking a lot, a lot of water these days. But also I've noticed like when I thought I wanted to eat something, like I'm really like, actually, I'm not even, I don't want to eat that. It's, it's like when you're trying to decide on where to go eat. Like, okay, you're, you're, you're driving, you're on a trip or you're go, you're mm-hmm. in a town and you're waiting to go back to your hotel room and everybody's like, what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want? I don't know. Nobody can really decide on anything yeah. because nobody's necessarily really hungry or craving anything. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how I feel all the time. Yeah. It's kind of like, no, pick something and I'll just like, yeah, pick I'll something just, off the menu. I'll have a half a cheeseburger. Yeah. I'm like or, not having cravings. Yeah, yeah. That's totally what it is. Yeah. Cause okay. So I, before we started this, I, I've been doing good. I've been trying to do good this year, um, like better. Better than me. I'm trying to be better because, I, you know, we're drinking less, doing all the things that we should be doing anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I love white cheddar popcorn. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Now, there could, there are worse snacks to have, okay? No, she loves it. it in the way that it's not a very uh, healthy relationship between the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> like road trip. Two or three of those bags are gone between the family. Yeah, we all got to eat them. Everybody loves Except them. Except me. Except for you don't love them. But I'm a popcorn girl. I was raised on popcorn. We, I got a popcorn machine. I love it. Anyway, so that's been my kind of go-to. Like, okay, I want a snack. I'll grab some popcorn, right? Mm-hmm. I bought a whole bag last week, okay? A big bag. And usually when I'm, like, watching a show or it's, like, later, at, later in the evening and I'm, like, okay, I'm now able to sit and do nothing, mm-hmm. I'll grab some and I'll, you know, eat. I... Grabbed a handful the other day. I put it in my mouth. I was like, that doesn't even taste as good as I want it to taste right now. And I was thinking in my head I wanted it. Yeah. And then I just rolled it back up and I was like, I'm yeah, done. that popcorn bag is still in my kitchen. I know. I'm surprised. I, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that's like me. I mean, I, I would go if I would order, if I go to f- get food, it's like I get a burrito and taco or something or yeah. a burger and a small side or something. I don't do fries usually or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I'll just get the burrito now or just the taco, honestly. Yeah. And I, or I'll get a bowl still and I'll be like, all right, well, at least I got a burrito for the next couple of days. I have yeah, I can, later. I can, I can eat up later. Yeah. So it's funny as, um, and I think it should be noted just for anybody that cares and is hearing on social media about all these fads that are happening right now with these injectable diets. Mm-hmm. This is not the one you're thinking. So no. I, I actually had to look into that because there's TikTok and in, all these influencers right now are taking Ozempic, mm-hmm. I think it's what it's called. Diabetic m- It's a medicine. diabetic medicine, yeah. And it's... We can stop HIV, Iowa. One key step, getting tested for HIV. An estimated 14% of people in Iowa living with HIV don't know their status. The CDC recommends everyone get tested for HIV at least once in their lifetime or more often when needed. So testing is important. Yes! Testing is the only way to know your status. It's the first step in getting additional HIV prevention services or HIV care. Find out more at StopHIVIowa.org. Not for regular people, okay, to be taking. You ha- you should have diabetes if you're going to take that medicine. My own doctor in November, if you remember this, Chris, you were with me, mm-hmm. was going to prescribe me, um, I'm forgetting how to say it now, well, Govi. Mm-hmm. What is, but what was that? Uh, semi-glutide. Semi-glutide. She told me about it, mm-hmm. and she's like, look, um, and I am right there pre-diabetic, which sucks. I hate that I even have to admit that that that's where I'm at right now with mm-hmm. my body, but it is. And she's like, I want to prescribe you this, um, this Wagovi. It might not be covered by your insurance. She's like, but it will help you. Because I was asking her, like, what can I do? Just help me because I can't. Weight is just different for me now. It's yeah. just so much harder to get off. Your your body's older. You've had kids, all that stuff. All yeah. the things. And my, my uterus yep. I played a big role. It's so weird. Yeah. All these things played a role. So um, she's like, yeah, I'm going to. Actually, it it's now FDA approved for weight loss. So the difference between the two are just before. Yeah, you go ahead. Ozempic is made for diabetics. Yes. They're, it's made directly for them. Now the sister medicine Wagovi or semi-glutide is uh-huh. is made. same of the some of the same ingredients, mm-hmm. but it's it's uh, changed up for weight loss, right? Not for diabetes, right? So when they TikTokers couldn't get Wagovi or semi-glutide, they started buying the Ozempic, which is only made for the diabetics, which yeah. then the diabetics couldn't get their medicine, right? That was the problem. That's the issue. Yeah. So so that's caused a lot of controversy mm-hmm. in like for diabetic patients because they're like, look, I can't even get my medicine yeah. because of these influencers who don't need to lose weight. But they have the money and their insurance. But they have the $2,000 to throw around at this Ozempic or whatever. And it takes so long to get approved through insurance to get a medicine for something like diabetes. If you don't have diabetes. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, but not even that. If you have diabetes and go through the whole process, you Mm -hmm. probably took six months to get it. And now these people that just have the money to spend on it, get it before you. And it's actually something medically needed for you. Yeah. It's so wack. It's it's really a lame But anyway, back to what you were saying. Yeah. So so I was going to get prescribed this. And then Mm -hmm. I did actually run into that situation where my insurance was like, oh, I'm not sure. They, they weren't going to approve it for me, mm-hmm. even though it was for weight loss. They were like, oh, she doesn't need it for weight loss, whatever they thought. Yep. So we ran into that situation. I was like, that's whatever. Okay, I'm just, I'll come up with something else. And you and I had this opportunity with, you know, with Invigor. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was so funny. I went back to my doctor and I told her, I was like, hey, so this is a situation. I'm going to be able to be on this from, you know, with Invigor. And she's like, I'm so happy. Good. She literally was like, that's so good. I'll keep an eye on you too, but go through their process. Yeah. So I'm doing it through my Invigor. own consultant, through Invigor and the te- telemedicine uh, person. Her name was Courtney, and she was awesome. Mm-hmm. She gave me her cell phone, and she was like, text me if you need me. Yeah, and I was like, good. are you serious? Like, for real? She, like, who gives you the tel- cell phone number? She was at my <laughs> Christmas party. That's so funny. I bet she was. I, she, I'm sure, I mean, this is your coworker now. I don't even think about that. But it's so funny. Like, I was just like, wow, what? person does that you know she's i asked her all these questions she's like oh yeah this is what if you have any more questions just text me and i'll i'll, I'll text you right and are you ever going to text her i just want to hang out with her now. no i mean like in, uh, in general like you're probably never going to text her right you're going to get online probably and chat, like, not but you have that comfort and, uh, that, and they do really well with that well with customer no, they're service. customer service driven i can tell anyway oh, yeah, I don't, oh, yeah. i'm not trying to sell everybody on this but i had a good experience we're going to try to lose weight i really hope it works i'm going to just and this is what, what it's about is we have to change our habits mm-hmm. While we're in this process, and honestly, we're, we ma- have we're to forcing change our ourselves. Habits. We're forcing ourselves 
a, a very extreme way to, to change our habits a little bit. Well, because we're not living together right now. Yeah, too. no, and I have to go pee outside at night. Yeah, that's really gross. Not really, if you think about it. You need to tell people about that. I What? Explain, I live in a trailer out in the explain. front yard. <laughs> so my sister has this really nice house that she had built. It's called Badger Canyon. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a canyon. It's just where they had a bunch of horses and, and there's a bunch of uh, fields and crops and stuff. And mm-hmm. she bought a big plot of land and built a house. Well, she has lots of toys and a, a shop and oh, all this oh, stuff. Oh, it's such a cool thing. So yeah. that she's got a trailer that they go camping with up on our property. And it's just sitting in the front yard. But of course, it's cold. Like it was nine degrees once, um, <laughs> but also why do I really need to go to the bathroom outside in the trailer if there's a bathroom right inside, right? Yeah. So needless to say, in the middle of the night, if I have to go to the bathroom, I just have to go outside or I could walk all the way inside and get the dogs barking and wake everyone up. Yeah, I gotcha. So. And it's cold. It is freezing. So you don't want to go outside. No, but I still go outside <laughs> in flip flops and shorts. Like a Californian. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> But yeah, that's, I mean, that's a big, if you don't, you don't think about it, it's a big deal. No, it it, it is a big deal. Different. It is. Very it's, different. Our lives are so different right, right now, now than I they've know. ever been. And that's why we haven't done the podcast as much. And that's, <clears throat> we're going to, the good thing is, is uh, I have approval to use the studio mm-hmm. uh, for our podcast also uh, up there. So we can start doing this because they want us to do a little more vlogging on the whole weight loss process. Yeah, I, I would love to give yeah. them a testimonial if it's working for me. I, I'm mm-hmm. gonna, I'll yeah. tell everyone in the world. You we'll know find, what I mean? Yeah, because, I know you will. Well, and that's the whole thing is like, I'm not going to lie about anything. You've, and if it's working, I'm going to tell everybody it's working. Well, your, your background in, in uh, your... I won't say your persona, but your reputation mm-hmm. uh, beside charities and nonprofits is about cosmetics and people trusting you about what ha- what works for their bodies. And, and that is a huge deal to me mm-hmm. because if somebody had a bad experience, like, you know what I mean? I would yeah. feel terrible. You've gone to meetings with the with a, a listener to yeah. go meet the doctor. I remember you did that a couple times. I I'm did. Like, I took nuts. I took a listener for her consultation she, about an augmentation. She yeah. was a little uncomfortable. She was. And yeah. I said, do you want me to go with you? And she's like. Evelyn, you'll go with me. <laughs> She's like, you don't even know me, and I was like, yeah, yeah. but I care about you. Yeah, and this, I, I respect this. This is a good company, and I want you to go there, and they'll take care of you. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, this and is where we are I, right that's now. That's how I feel. So we're doing this right now. I gotta draw. I gotta <sighs> fly back to uh, Washington tomorrow. Luckily, it's a direct flight out of Hollywood Burbank. I'm so grateful that you flew in for this weekend. He came in to be here for our daughter's birthday which was Cassie turned 12. She's 12 years old our little baby. And I wasn't planning on uh flying in which which Mm-mm. actually worked out great because uh they had a last minute deal 50% off which um saved me a lot of money. It did and uh, so when he told me last Thursday I think mm-hmm. I'm coming I was like you are and my <laughs> eyes were just like welled up with tears. I it think was it was so, Friday. It might have been Friday. I think it was Friday morning when I got the deal because uh I had been looking every day and I was like I'm just gonna try one more time. And he did. And I did, and it worked. So I was excited. So I'll be back. so awesome. I know the next time I'm coming back is mid-March for Cassie's first dance recital, and I think my parents are coming with me. Which seems so far It does seem far, but don't bring it up. Uh, I just did. Why did I brought it up? I'm an idiot. (laughs) (laughs) Um, We got to figure something out in between there. We're going to- I'll fly up or something. Yeah. But uh, that's where we're at now. Evelyn's still working. Uh, she has middays at 991 KGGI. Oh, they just extended my hours, so I'm 10 to 3 now. Mm-hmm. And she's uh, she's still doing coast on Sundays and I filling am. in. I am. And there's other stuff coming down the line, too, I believe, that we're not allowed to talk about yet. Yeah, I'm uh, hopeful about okay. Good, there you go. that I was told. <laughs> we'll see. So we'll see how that goes. But <laughs> yes, we, good stuff. Um, this is the most we've talked to each other in probably a month and a half. Yeah, it's really sucky. Um, because I mean, we talk all well, the time. You, well, you're on but, FaceTime in my yeah. room like almost all the time uh, if you're home. But you're always yeah. running around a lot. I'm, and at I'm, night, I'm passing out early because I'm an old man now. <laughs> and I'm just running with all the kids yeah, to so. get them to and from school. It's That has been the hardest part is getting everyone to school, everyone home from school. They, they're all at different places. And then getting Cassie to dance and then getting back and making dinner. It's just been a whole thing. You know, mad respect for single parents. I yeah, say that. seriously. Because I mean, this is not easy. And I haven't been a single parent since Julian was three. And I so. was the one uh, that was lucky enough to always be a pseudo stay-at-home dad in between my gigs. Yeah. Cert, you know, that worked out. So them not having me here is, is a big deal. Yeah, they, it's, they were so happy he was coming in town. I they mean, were like overjoyed. I'm happy. I, I We got to go get Cassie from school and... Take her to dance, and I'm hanging out with Aiden, play some video games while she's at dance. And, and then you're taking me on a date. Yeah, a date to our bedroom. <laughs> oh, okay, that kind of date. <laughs> well, 
We can make us some drinks. You don't have to tell everyone. Well, Wait, I was so thinking that the drinking's not, cheaper in our bedroom. Oh, okay. So you're not taking me out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no, I'll take you somewhere, but not, neither of us are hungry. I know. <laughs> I, We're I'll, just going to go buy food look, and not eat it. I'll drink something. <laughs> no, so we'll funny. go. We'll go. Hey, buddy. You really don't have to take me on a no. date if you don't want to. I wasn't trying to force the issue. We have I just, time. We'll see what happens. We have to record uh, or um, we have to go eat Cassie and stuff and then. You know, I want to play video games with Aiden, too. Let's go. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Defer. I really want to play video games with my son, okay, Evelyn? <laughs> I'm like, I love you to death, but my son wants me to play video games. And, uh, that it, that definitely takes precedence, I will say. That's I fine. I, we won't play forever. I'll sneak up to Washington and surprise you. That would be cool. You could make that happen. I'll go up there, but you have to take me on a date up there. Oh, well, duh. We have all the time to ourselves. Okay, we go do something. Like, literally, ourselves. it's I really know. crazy and weird to me because when I get off work, I go to my trailer and I sit down and I turn the TV on. I'm like, there's no kids. Where am I? Honey, I'm hot. Oh, that's right. I live alone. Mm. Now what? Uh, seriously, I just do more work. It is lovely. I just do more work. I te- I make. I write up some more scripts or I, or I research some more products because I'm still learning about everything that they have. But yeah, no, it's just, um, it's it's either I'm working or I feel like I'm working. Yeah. And I don't want to go out by myself um, because I have a California license plate still. And that, <laughs> they will pull that you is, over. That is like driving while California license plates on your car. <laughs> <laughs> Up there, it's a sin. Oh, um, goodness. Anywhere. And I, the funny thing is, is when I cut people off, I'm like, yeah, 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 I know. I'm from California. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Your best friends need to take you out. Yeah. They, <laughs> they're so stupid. They text me the day I'm gone. We did go to breakfast on Friday, though. Yeah. That was kind of fun. Good. I'm glad. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not doing much. Just doing the show. Check it out. It's going to be all over the social medias. Um, it's fun. It's... it's uh, Informative. Informative. There's the word I was going to go. It, and you know me. I'm a 12-year-old at heart. Yes, you are. So uh, doing this podcast is definitely um, uh, fun for me. Um, but I do have to hold back a little bit on some of my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you that uh, after the first couple episodes, I've cut a few of them out, too. <laughs> Did you really? You're like, ah, it's not appropriate. <laughs> oh, there's one that stayed in, though. That's really good. It's coming out Thursday. I'm super excited. Really? About, oh, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, it's about Reeboks. The, 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 sh- the show is about Reeboks? No, or the, the sh- joke is about <laughs> Reebok pump shoes. Okay. And I'll let you listen to the podcast. <laughs> now, it's on YouTube, too. It's video or audio, so you can check it out. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it, is that everything? Yeah, we just wanted to give everyone kind of an update on what's going on because we kind of didn't know. <laughs> I think we've, we've been winging it's, it, it's you a, and It's I. been a whirlwind, yeah. It's been, it's been weird because it's just, you know, the, the dynamics right now is really weird in my brain and I can't grasp it yet. So Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, hard. working through it. And thank you all for listening. Uh, we really do appreciate it. We are, uh, we always say it, but we're going to do better at doing this weekly or bi-weekly, depending on schedules. Yeah. And uh, we get, will. Get, uh, get you some information about what the heck this thing does to us and how much weight we lose. Hopefully. Yeah, well, I, I got big plans for this yeah. body. Oh, I, uh, yeah, baby. I'm not buying any clothes. I'm just going to start. I'm going to wait when I come back. I'll just try my old stuff that didn't fit before I left and see what happens. <laughs> see if you can fit back yeah. in it. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. I'll just keep coming back and getting new wardrobe for my closet that I couldn't fit in before. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's like new again. Yeah, I'm like, why did the shirt get so big on me? <sighs> I'm excited. Me I think too. I'm very, I am optimistic about this venture. I'm optimistic about this diet. I'm optimistic about your, you know. Everything. Everything going on with you. And let's just try not to day at a time. Let's let's make sure we see each other. <laughs> yeah, day at a time. We're doing fine. I we're good. Am addicted to my husband. She if is. you can't tell, she I is. like I have a hard time like it's, with us being apart. It's not it's not healthy. Some of it, some of it's really healthy. I, I wish like he it. had a little bit of an addiction to I know, me. Right? She's like the way I have an addiction to him. Well, I've never, and I think addiction and jealousy are a little two things that kind of go I'm hand in hand a little bit. What? Yeah, you're jealous. I'm you can't so be with me. Not jealous. Uh, you're jealous that you can't be with me. I get to spend all the time myself. What? I'm just kidding. That's not it at all. <laughs> no, I know. I, I'm, I'm addicted to my family, and I'm addicted to you, and I'm addicted to my girls. I'm addicted to my son. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, I'm addicted to my computer in my bed. Yeah, more important. Oh, sorry. Did I say that in you the wrong order? You did say that. You definitely <laughs> said that. God. No, um, it's... Uh, oh, no. You're good. You're cool. But God, I miss my computer. <laughs> Gosh, damn it. You really do suck at that. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's like I post stuff on social media and I'm like, oh, I miss my babe. Or I'm like, do this stuff. 
and he posts shit about Mandalorian and like something else. And I'm like, he could care less that he is not near me right now. And it's it not hurts. true, <laughs> it hurts. but I'm not going to sit there and just sulk online all the time. I really miss this. How about me? <laughs> See, I told you it's not healthy sometimes. You want to say goodbye or what? I hate you. <laughs> oh my God. You miss That's, me being I here. do miss your stupid ass. <laughs> I, was, I didn't know I was going to miss you like this. Really? I, I knew. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I knew. All right, I love you. I love you more. Bye bye. Conversate with us. Conversate with us. Thank you for listening to Conversate with us. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to. Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.